Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhera Baga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before I start with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get? Got the black pieces. I'll play the Karo Khan defense. Starts with c6, followed by d5, the main move. Open can take, exchange, advance, or develop the knight, which is the main line now. So I'll take on the pawn. He takes with the knight. I go bishop f5. Knight goes on g3, bishop g6. These are standard moves in the Karo Khan. And this knight is probably going to come on uh, e5 next. So I'll develop my knight so that defending the square already. And I can play pawn forward here, just letting him capture if he really wants to. I can take back with the pawn, open up the edge file for the attack, where the opponent will probably castle. So opponent sees that coming probably. So I'll just turn up the bishop here, maybe bishop queen to c7, attacking the knight later on. Instead, he moves his knight. Now, should I take it? Should I not? Opponent can, is attacking my bishop though. Uh, let's wait for a moment, maybe. Let's see what has he got in mind. I'll take now. This doesn't work. So up and does castle now. Uh, I can still take, but why to take it? Since I haven't yet. I can pin the knight as well, maybe. That also works. Uh, my knight is not pinned. I can move it. I can get it here as well. Uh, this makes more sense. Attacking as well. Maybe then connecting both of them if my opponent doesn't take or do something else about it. Let's see. Queen comes here maybe, then I take on the knight and the bishop. He says the bishop there. Um, now I cannot pin because my knight is hanging. So let's connect both the knights. Just rerouting my pieces towards my opponent's king. My knight here would mean that I'm attacking further. Can castle queen side or king side dependent on the situation later on. Now again he's attacking the bishop. Oh, so he's trying to trap my knight there somehow. Uh, what have we got? I think I can attack his queen first. I can. Point is pawn forward and my knight is trapped. So let's try and make some space for my knight, which means I go here so that now my knight can come back on d6. It's important to have retrieval squares. Okay, now should I come back? It spoils my pawn structure though, but that's okay. I can cast on the other side of the board too. So because if he does take, I take back. I can take back with the knight as well. So it's good, I think. This will not yield me anything or I can go here as well, planning for a folk. Ah, oh, this looks nice to me for now. But if he takes this first, I take back, I lose a piece. Hmm. I have to be careful here. Let's exchange first the bishops then. Let him take if he really wants to. And then I can go with this knight maybe. And that makes more sense. In that case my knight will not be left like there. Okay. Let's go with the knight. This doesn't work though. But just trying to pressurize maybe attack a bit can come back and go here as well which will attack his bishop just trying to read out my pieces better he goes back defends the pawn instead uh, I can go with this knight as well here yeah that attacks the bishop mm. 
he can take he does uh, what if i take first makes sense or i should just take first okay let me take i want to remove this bishop that good defender of the king side dying his queen first so now he has to safeguard the queen and now i take this so that the h file also opened up i am eyeing this beautiful checkmate sometime later the position is better now i think okay i can go here or here from here where do i go next here and then this this looks fine from here yeah a couple of spots but doesn't look much encouraging there uh this loses on the spot because of the queen so a knight on h5 makes more sense and then attacking g3 offering queen exchange okay can i defy it i can i go i go here and i can't go there so you can go here maybe yeah attacking the pawn pinning the king there and then i have this move as well mm, this looks nice to me for now uh, but i lose the pawn then so i think rook left yeah rook left makes more sense trying to move the queen away queen can come here only uh, if here i can take otherwise he lose the pawn so the best possible move right now would be this or maybe just coming to d6 trying to defend the pawn not less letting me castle as well so a couple of options here for the opponent uh if queen comes here i can of course trap the, the queen as well okay goes back now i have this coming getting my uh, knight to a better square uh, no attacks now so i'll just first castle so that now the pawn is weak now double of a couple of attackers uh, and well saved by the opponent i would say but that doesn't stop me because now i'm gonna attack from here and i think i should there's no reason why i should not attack i should take with a rook so that i'm attacking his queen he has to safeguard his queen which he does my knight is kind of trapped so i can save it by playing pawn forward and still takes okay i'll take back opponent takes the spawn next mostly or doesn't what have i got here um i should go for the pawn break maybe let that pawn go now i just want to get rid of his some pawns and then attack does goes back i'll take first check doesn't bother i can go up i can go here as well uh, this makes more sense attacking the rook at the same time can take another pawn there maybe I'm running out of time okay that's a good move i would say which i can stop check i'll go here i have another square to escape and i have a discover attack on the king next once i move my rook away so you better be careful about it okay i defend and that's a check too and i said i'll nail him okay where does he go next here can i find a check mating pattern check um takes he lose the queen now check take this rook check from here 19 seconds on the clock and i made him i sure have i can where does he go here um i'll go here take this and that's made probably yes yes it is oh, he moves ahead i'll take that's again a check from the queen 
Well, he shouldn't have done like that. Anyways, as I said, I'll win this. I won it. And, oh, that's a revenge. That's nice. He has defeated me last time. But I got the better of him this time. Well, that's what chess is more about. Sometimes your opponent wins, sometimes you do. Sometimes your opponent teaches you a lesson and sometimes you teach them. Just read that somewhere today, uh, interestingly. Anyways, yeah. Signed off with e4, I played c6, open plays d4, I go for d5. That's the Karakon main line when opponent develops a knight instead of taking on the pawn, which becomes the exchange variation, or advancing the pawn, which becomes the advanced variation. I've covered both of them a uh, lot of lots of times. I'll just place the link in the description as well. I take on, opponent takes with the knight, I attack the knight, knight goes back to g3, bishop goes back to g6 to defend itself. A knight f3 is an important move here by the opponent, and generally it's, it's way better if it's the advanced variation of the Karokan, um, and also the exchange. Now the main move here for the opponent is to bring back the knight on f3, attacking the bishop. So just in case I play some random move, opponent can get his knight active, and that's attacking now my bishop. That's what the plan is for the opponent, and if I develop, opponent can take on this, and yes, I can take with the edge pawn, but as you see, uh, my knight is in front of the queen, uh, not doing great there. I have to take my queen diagonally, develop the other piece as well. And there's slight advantage for white already, which is 0.6. My computer's still changing that, but yeah, more or less, that's a slight advantage for white if you just let the opponent's knight come on to e5. So always try and make sure that you're not letting your opponent come to e5 with the knight and control it before by playing knight to d7. Uh, here my opponent plays bishop d3. The best move is to take, but I prefer not to because if opponent does take, I can take back with the h pawn, open up for the attack. Doesn't happen. I develop the bishop. Opponent gets the knight in between, which I still deny. I develop my queen, just trying to develop my pieces first. Took on the knight there. And opponent castles. I get the knight on f6. Opponent tries to attack the knight there. I go up, attacking the bishop rather. And bishop goes back. I go with knight f6. Uh, knight comes now on e5 by the opponent attacking the bishop. And I have to be careful there with lots of trades can happen. Uh, the best move for the opponent was though to get his rook active on the e file because my king hasn't castled yet and it's in the center. So always place your rook in front of the king. But opponent plays f4 trying to go more aggressive, trying to open up the f file for the attack. I go knight back to d6. The idea was to then uh, just, then, and that's the best move, just trying to read out my knight. Uh, opponent plays queen to e2. I go with other knight on d5. Opponent brings back his bishop on g3, trying to defend, add extra defense to the pawn. And then I go with knight on f5. Here my opponent takes on the bishop, which was a bad move because um, my bishop is anyways inactive. So why would you like to do that? Rather save your bishop, which is probably uh, going to be taken away next move. And then you spoil your pawn structure near the king. Because if I take, he has to take back. And then your king is pretty much weak because you don't have much pawns around it. And that's the whole purpose of castling, which my opponent defied by taking on the bishop. I took on the, his bishop first, which he takes back. And then I take with the edge pawn. Now, see, uh, the evaluation changed a bit in favor of black because the, it's an open file now for the attack. Uh, my king, the opponent's king, pawn, pawns are like pretty much weak now. And my knight is centralized. My queen is active. So anything can happen from there on. My opponent plays pawn to c4, which was weakened up again. I played um, rook on f6. Opponent gets, offers me queen exchange. And this is again a thumb rule. When your opponent is offering queen exchange, do not take it because you don't want to give that advantage back to the opponent. You are in the driving seat. Why will you like to exchange queens? So I denied that. I played queen to b6. And b6 was a good move there, always eyeing this diagonal towards the king, pinning this pawn and attacking a pawn simultaneously. Open saves a pawn, then I do the rook lift, which was the best move again, surprisingly, attacking the queen, queen goes back, and then I again find the right move, which was knight to g4. 
So that, that, that's that's impressive of myself. <laughs> okay, open plays queen e4, and then I cancel again the right move, and then open plays pawn to c5. Oh, that, that's a mate happening in three. If rook comes here, uh, that's mate. I didn't see that mate because my knight is pretty much strong there. And if I get here, what my, my opponent can do best is just try and attack this maybe. And that doesn't work because that's mate. So I could have mated him faster. I missed it. My bad on that. But anyways, um, I went with queen to b4. I was in the driving skeet. And then I take on the pawn, attacking the queen. Queen goes back. Oh, I can win another piece there by placing a rook over there, which I think I eventually did, but I first tried and defend my knight. Open does take, I take back. Yes, I was wondering he can take on this pawn, but the open doesn't. So then I went with breaking the pawn from there. Open does take the pawn, I take back. Then a check, and I just move my king towards the opponent. Oh, there's a mate in six from there, which of course he didn't see. With 1 minute 44 seconds on the clock, he can't probably. The queen comes here, which means my rook is undefended. And there are things going to happen here as well. And then if queen comes here, that's mate, right? Yeah, if, if I play something random, say I take on the pawn, queen comes here. And then, yes, I'm just running away. If I just get my thing in between, queen will take and that's checkmate. If I run up, still like a couple of moves and that's checkmate. So have to be always careful and on your toes when you're playing chess. And my opponent tries to double up instead. And then I took on the pawn. And that was important pawn because, again, now my queen is eyeing the right diagonal. I can have a discovery attack as well anytime. Play just remove my, my rook anywhere. And opponent gives a check there. Of course, he cannot give a check from e7 now because my queen is controlling that square as well. So check from e6. I was running down on time, so probably I had to just play faster there as well. So queen to c7. Open gets the rook in between. Uh, uh, computer suggesting you can exchange queens and still black will be having some advantage, which is top 2.1. This is decent enough, I would say, um, to win it from there. But my opponent gets the rook in between to give a check. My plan, initial plan was to, if he gives a check from the queen, I can get my king away from there as well. But here... I had the discovery attack, so I just get my rook on d7. And opponent had to move the king. That is a check again. Oh, that was mate and one again. But I tried to just take on the rook and then take another and then give a check. Mate in three, I take on the rook first. It's mate on in two, okay. Check. I just tried to trap the king in the corner. It was mate in one. Ah, oh, queen, okay. Time, 17 seconds on the clock, and I was just thinking that, okay, I should just go with the flow. And then I found the mate, finally. Yeah, it was a comfortable win at the end. Yes, my opponent missed a checkmate uh, possibility, but as I said, it's difficult to see a few moves there when you're in the middle of a game. Uh, so not necessarily that everything will be seen by the opponent too. So you just try to play the best as per your capabilities and hope that... Ah, things like those are missed occasionally because yeah, you know, that that could have landed me into a checkmate pretty quick from here. It was mate in six, and before that, I could have mated him by just getting my rook doubled up over here, and my knight was pretty much strong there. So yeah, we both missed mates in between, but a good game, as I would say. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And keep watching and sharing and keep supporting my content. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.